Welcome back to Let's Play Gotham 3. I cannot create 3. anything at the moment. This is the tail end of the looting session that I'm engaging in right now in the town of Ardea, which we've just liberated. Last video we talked a little bit about looting and uh, things like that. Um, I'm going to leave some of these items here for the blacksmith when he gets back. It just as a matter of role playing. I don't know. I'm, I'm silly like that sometimes. So I'm going to take everything else though. I'm going to grab this chest. The reason I uh, decided to start the video a little bit before I finished the looting was I wanted to show you a couple important items in this uh, building as well. I'm not talking about these apples, although they're delicious, I'm sure. Most of the time, food items such as apples, bread, ham, meat, things like that, are used to restore health. Many times, particular drink items will be used for the purpose of um, restoring mana. I call it mana, by the way. Some people call it mana. You're going to have to deal with my pronunciation. I like it better. Here is the important item, blueprint for broadsword. I'll show you these items in just a moment, but let me leave... Uh, leave this shop for a minute. Now I've left a sword, a bow, a halberd, and a shield. So blacksmith will not be completely empty when he takes up the hammer uh, upon his return. There's the town leader again. There's my compadres. Uh, let's see. That might be it. Oh, nope. I forgot one building. I think I already got that one, didn't I? Yeah, there you go. One last building. It's kind of hidden. It's if you go in a big circle around the outside of town, you'll get everything except for this one building, which is in this little uh, clandestine little alley here. And this is the what I would describe as the general shop. It's not that important that you get all of the items out of here. Because um, there's nothing of crucial importance. Sorry, if I'm distracted, my cats are fighting in the background, those little buggers. But it's nice to have everything that you can at this early stage in the game because you need to sell shit to make money to win. And winning is something that I like to do. Okay, having already finished my conversation with him, having looted everything in town, it is now time to talk to Diego. <laughs> Another fine mess we've got ourselves into. What happened here? Quite obviously, the orcs have won their war against King Robar. And now the orcs are sweeping through the land, enslaving the humans. But most of all, I would like to know what happened to Lester. So he's wondering what happened like to Lester. York? And I'm just skipping through what? some of these he conversations. They're, they're all wondering what about you? Lester. Before that, that not and he's talking about rune magic I'll and come stuff. With. We should search separately. You find Zardis. If anyone knows about magic, he will. We will meet again. I'm sure of it. So good luck. So there's these added conversations here that obviously were part of the original, which is why they're not voiced. First legendary, then dragons, but at least they're not at least the legendary era giraffe. Problem is I don't believe that we experienced a totally new story. I don't know what he means by that either. What do you mean by that? Do you remember the dragon eggs? Of course I remember. I'll never forget. Good thing. What's this about? Something about dragons here on this continent too, so that we get a new quest about hunting dragons. And perhaps killing them when they're young. And something about equipment or jewelry or something to go along with it. So Milton's gonna I just go can't. off we'll talk and restore his magic. Watch out in the meantime, for everybody else has directed me to go down and see Lester. Lester's one of our compadres who came with us. By the way, um, as I venture out of the village here, first of all, anytime you see a plant like this, just take a, take a look at the uh, distance there. And this has gotten kind of medium level graphic settings. It's even more stunning on better graphic settings, which you could probably employ if you were doing a video or if you had a better computer. Okay, so um, when you see plants that are lootable or pickable, like this King Sorrel, you want to pick them. King Sorrel is the most valuable one in the game, by the way. <clears throat> but um, 
Plants are very valuable. They help create potions and, and recipes, and they help restore stats or even permanently increase stats. Plants also sell for money, and uh, in my opinion, the mo one of the most useful functions of picking plants is it kind of lets you know where you've been. If you pick all these plants, you know you've been on this side of the hill, and you don't have to come back, unless there's something important. So now that I've got all those plants, I'll know that I've been on that side of the hill. I'll try to avoid too much plant picking without anything else going on. Um, show. Okay, fisherman, he was added. Let's see what he's got for sale. He does have something for sale. Fish soup, that looks interesting. I'll go ahead and grab that. He doesn't have a lot of money, though, so... I'm looking for something that's worth... Okay, so I, here's how transactions work. I'm selling something worth 180 gold. He's selling me something worth 100... I'm sorry, 300 gold, which means there's a difference of uh, 120. So... There's the balances between the two sides. If I push gold balance, I'll put the 120 right there. But here's another little trick. If you go like this... I just it's four axes, uh, or three axes for 45 apiece, uh, which brings it to 135. Now if I push gold balance, he's actually paying me more gold, so what I can do is I can, to make this simpler, I just get rid of the gold on each side of the transaction. And now I push gold balance cleanly here, and now he's giving me 15 bucks, and I'm give, giving him these two or three weapons, or four weapons, and he's giving me the rest. Trade. I get a little bit more money, I get rid of a couple of my excess weapons, and I got the soup uh, recipe, which I'll show you in just a second. Um, let me push, but I pushed M for map, so I thought I had a world map, could have sworn. I must not have looted the main guy, I'll go back up and do that in a minute, but anyway, going back to uh, recipes. Fish soup, here it is. So that's your fish soup. In order to make fish soup, you need water, carrot, fried fish, and fish. I don't have any fish. I'm guessing he probably sold me something at some point. Here's Lester. Bad news. So I know. Go look for the ship. Um, what? Pirates took the ship. There are no reinforcements. What Our equipment's gone. We need to get new stuff. What? Well, He's going to go to the desert. Just like, uh. Well, actually, Milton. Or, I'm sorry, Diego hasn't told you where he's going. Real quick before I go back up, we're going to do what we oops, do what we do best, and that is loot and pillage and rape and steal. Lardo, something, blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. blah. I invite a guest, blah blah blah. Bandits being involved with the orcs, blah blah blah. Thief, blah blah blah. He's got some equipment, blah blah blah. Blah, 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 something about trading, something about a sword, something about a staff, and a bow. Okay, let's see what he has to say here. Let's make a deal. I will take the shield in exchange for my bow. The sword is mine, here's my orc slayer. As if I don't already have enough problems. So you can get a staff, a sword, or a shield in exchange for either your bow, your less valuable sword, and for both of those, I, I don't want to get rid of my bow, I don't really want to get rid of my orc swear, I'm going to say I have no interest in his weapons, but I'm going to give him 50 bucks for some reason, well I guess it's worth it with the experience there, okay, so, but I'm going to loot this chest real quick, again it's red, which means you need a lock Broken. Pick. And you're gonna break a few lockpicks until you get be become better at thievery. So just scroll in here for sleep, some water, a ladle, and an amulet of ice protection, which we'll get equipped pretty much right away if we want. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, loot this other cottage real quick, and then head up the hill and talk to our buddy Diego. Sorry for the lag there. Sorry if I speak too quickly as well. I do tend to speak yeah, quickly. What would you say? One thing you got to be careful of is if you're looting and the town has not been liberated. And if you get caught, you're going to get in trouble. Somebody's going to try to beat you up, or worse yet, you might be labeled an enemy of the area, and everybody gangs up on you. 
Um, either way, it's not good. So don't loot and steal unless you just liberated an area or you know you can get away with it. I'm just grabbing a couple plants around. Oh, there's a orc weapon from one of the orcs who retreated. Just grabbing a couple plants from around the area to kind of expand my perimeter, if you will. That thing there is, you'll remember from the opening video, there's the barrier. So, once I grab my map, apparently I didn't loot it yet. And even if I can't find it on the guy, which would be inexplicable, well, I can buy one. So it's no big deal. But I'm pretty sure there's a map. Yeah, see, I see his axe laying next to him. I must have missed him in the looting. I don't know how I missed him. Oh, there's a weapon here, too. That's weird. I'm gonna grab that. So you might have noticed that some of the bodies start to disappear after a while. Because there, here's the world map that I was looking for. There was a body in this little area where I had that fight. Oh, never mind. He's still there. But what I'm getting at is true. Um, we the bodies owe do you disappear so after much. A while, so. What's up, pirates? Those rotten bastards made off with our treasure. Diego. Looks like it. We'll have to deal with that later, I'm afraid. You see? What? Pro Go talk to the. I had a talk to the. So, I talked what to do you people. suggest? First, we need. He says we need to get an overview. We need to get equipment. Where do we get equipment? But you know, oh, collect right. whatever you can find. Can and find since the orcs. What are you going? So are you you know now? me. Matena is now. I will He's go going south. To the desert, you can set out. Which is where um, Lester's going to. Milton's going north to Nordmar, and Gorn is just chilling here with uh, people here. Um, now we're having a conversation about uh, lack of equipment. Milton's nice enough to give me the worn shadow armor, which is nice. So, and I think we'll talk later. Uh, I don't know what I just told. Him. I'm really skipping through some of this dialogue to save time, but let me go ahead and go to armor. I'm gonna go ahead and equip that ice amulet and the uh, armor he gave me, which is plus two, plus two, plus two against blades, blunts, keep and your chin missiles. up. Gorn, what are you going? I haven't I, talked to him I, yet. He, he's gonna take me to where the rebels are hiding. Show it's and we'll follow him. So that is going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time on Let's Play Gothic 3.